So let's take a look at the proton transfer mechanism. This is one of the most important mechanisms in organic chemistry just because it shows up everywhere, right? So a lot of examples of this, a lot of different variations. But in general, there's always got to be a base, sometimes with a full negative charge, not always, sometimes just a lone pair, and an acid just represented by H belonging to an A here, that's my generic acid. And the arrows always follow the same sort of pattern, start with the base to the proton, the acidic hydrogen, and then the electrons go to the atom that the hydrogen was bonded to. If they are going somewhere else, it's not proton transfer. And so that's where that A minus comes from, this bond breaking, and now the base is now attached to the hydrogen. So our acid has become our conjugate base. All right, so just a few other examples, just to kind of keep it down. So negative charge, that's our base. Right, negative charge again, that's our base. Right, this, these reactions will happen if you have something that can donate a proton. So arrow from base to hydrogen, from bond to atom. Right, so I've basically made water from water, but it illustrates the arrow mechanism here. Same thing here, we've got a carboxylic acid, negative charge methoxide, another strong base. So it's going to attack this acidic proton, push the arrows, right? There's a lot of examples of this um, in mechanisms from my videos and in organic chemistry. Uh, they will not all look the same, but they will have the same arrow pattern. Always for proton transfer, we're looking at those same patterns.